solving simple equations. The simple equations we will deal with are equations with numbers and unknowns of the first order. That is, if x is the unknown, there are only x's and numbers in the equation. No x squared or higher powers of x. Examples include x plus 2 is equal to 10, 3x is equal to 6, 7x plus 3 is equal to 5x plus 17, and 5x over 3 is equal to 2x plus 5 over 2. What does solving an equation mean? Let us consider one of the examples. 7x plus 3 is equal to 5x plus 17. We know that x here represents some number. Actually, all x's represent the same number. Solving the equation means figuring out exactly what that number is. To solve such an equation, we make the unknown the subject of the formula, also referred to as transposing. We dealt with changing the subject of the formula at length in a separate video. See link below. So I will just dive into some examples. Example 1. Solve the equation 15 minus 4x is equal to 2 multiplied by 3x plus 1. To simplify, at this point we want to remove the 2. We can divide both sides by 2 or we can expand the brackets. If we divide by 2, we get a fraction on the left hand side and this is less desirable than multiplying. So we simplify the equation by expanding the brackets to get 15 minus 4x is equal to 2 multiplied by 3x is equal to 6x and 2 multiplied by positive 1 is equal to positive 2, 6x plus 2. We next put all the x's on one side and all the numbers on the other side. Let us put the x's on the left hand side. We remove the 6x from the right hand side by adding negative 6x to both sides. 6x minus 6x, they cancel to leave positive 2 on the right hand side. Minus 4x minus 6x is equal to negative 10x. So we get 15 minus 10x or 15 added to negative 10x is equal to 2. We remove the positive 15 from the left hand side by adding negative 15 to both sides. The 15 and 15 cancel to leave negative 10x on the left hand side. And 2 added to negative 15 is equal to negative 13. We divide both sides by negative 10. The negative 10s cancel on the left hand side to remain with x. And we have negative 13 divided by negative 10. 13 divided by 10 is 13 over 10. And a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So x is equal to positive 13 over 10. Example 2. Solve for x. x over 2 added to x over 3 is equal to 5. All the x's are on one side. x over 2 is being added to x over 3. LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. To change x over 2 to a fraction over 6, we need to multiply the denominator by 3 to get 6. So we multiply the numerator by 3 as well. 3 by x is equal to 3x. To change the second fraction into a fraction over 6, we need to multiply the denominator by 2. 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6. So we multiply the numerator by 2 as well. x multiplied by 2 is equal to 2x. 3x plus 2x is equal to 5x. We multiply by 6 to remove the 6. The 6 cancel to remove the 5x. And 5 multiplied by 6 is equal to 30. We divide both sides by 5. Cancelling. We get x is equal to, and we know that 30 divided by 5 is equal to 6. x is equal to 6. Of course, at this point, we could have factorized as well. Factorized by HCF. x is the HCF. So we pull out the x and we multiply x by a half to get x over 2. And we multiply x by a third to get x over 3. And of course a half plus a third is equal to 5 over 6. So then we would divide by 5 over 6 on both sides. The 5 over 6 would cancel on the left hand side to leave x. And then we know that 5 divided by 5 over 6 is the same as 5 multiplied by the reciprocal. 5 multiplied by 6 over 5. And the 5s would cancel to give again that x is equal to 6. So factorizing would give exactly the same answer. And a third and final example. Solve the equation 2 multiplied by x minus 1 is equal to 5 over 2. Making x the subject of the formula. Dividing both sides by 2. 2s cancel. To remain with x minus 1. 
and we know that 5 over 2 divided by 2 is the same as 5 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 2. 5 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 is equal to 5 over 4. And we move the negative 1 from the left-hand side by adding 1 to both sides. Negative 1 added to positive 1 is equal to 0. We remain with x on the left-hand side. And 5 over 4 added to 1. Remember, 1 is the same as 4 over 4. So 5 over 4 added to 4 over 4 gives 9 over 4. x is equal to 9 over 4. That is it for this video. I am Mr. Dubey. If you found this video helpful, if you appreciate what I am trying to do on this channel, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.